Early Birds and Night Owls. My name is Nox, aka Mako, and welcome back to Project High Rise Miami Malls. We are so close to getting the amount of retail tenants that we need. We need eight more, which might seem like a lot. <laughs> it might seem like a lot, especially since we've been building the two floor ones now, but it's not really that much, you guys. And also, we did have somebody leave us. I'll show you who in a second. And, um,. We need 13 restaurant tenants, which of course is, is definitely a lie, at least to me, because we don't exactly have all the room in the world for restaurants, but we'll try. We'll definitely try to get there, hopefully, really soon. So, uh, who left us was the record store that was right up over here, probably because they were just like, mm, you built another one of us, I guess I'm not happy with this, and what is wrong with these guys? Ah. It must have been raining yesterday, right? It must have been raining in that last episode. I can't remember 100%. So let's go ahead and lower everybody to 75% just so we can save our butts here. I know that's really not going to make us more any money, but it's kind of what we need to do. Also, do we have a $5,000 loan? We did. Okay, so I'm going to pay that off right now. Even though we could obviously use the money, I'm going to pay that off just so we won't have to deal with that anymore. Because we might need to take out another loan pretty soon. I don't want to have to deal with these things for very long. So let's see. This media campaign is almost over. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. We are going to hold the phone. Hold the, hold up, hold up, hold up. What, didn't I build a trash room down here? Apparently not, okay. <laughs> oh boy, all right, so let's go ahead and get ourselves a collection room right up in here, uh-huh. And now, oh boy, all these people are still very unhappy with us. So hopefully they become less unhappy with us as time goes by because we really need them to not be so mad with us. Like. Trust me, we're trying to help you. We are definitely trying to help you. It might not seem like it, but just we are. Uh-oh, can we only afford one of these guys? Oh, no. That's not so good. Ooh. Medium rooftop restaurant. Well, that's nice and all, but we can't exactly build that just yet because we have to build it to floor 30, and we're nowhere near close to that. But, yeah, it's, um, we can't afford elevators. What do we do, you guys? What do we do? Do we take out another loan? Do we wait until the next day? I'm so sure i want to wait to the next day but i have a feeling that we're not exactly gonna make much money honestly because well we had to lower down our prices big time and this destination yes i understand that the destination is unreachable it's just the way it is okay that's just how it's gonna have to be for now Oof. probably should have just built two floors instead but my bad so how are we doing in terms of getting these small artworks we need just two more influence i believe that was the case last time hmm let's see what else can we build we can build large restaurants um I mean, I want to do that, but at the same time, it seems like we're not there just yet. So we have to just wait and be patient so we can get everything we need. And hey, look at that. We have a 49 influence. So I could go ahead and get this. However, all of the small artworks are over $5,000. We cannot afford them at all. So should I do that or should I go for something a little bit different? Let's see. Hmm. Extend your floor space by... Hmm? That sounds interesting. Um, I, I can't do it. I just can't do it, you guys. I want to do it, but I can't do it just because we're going to need this one at some point. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that one. This one's going to be 60 influence. Okay, whatever. 60 influence. We could do that at some point, but clearly not yet. So hopefully we're still going to make enough money so we can actually continue building up, especially since we need elevators. Oh, that feels so bad. And also... This still happens a lot. It happens way too often. And it makes me worry because clearly people can't leave the, the whole building if there's just one elevator. So I'm really strongly considering putting elevators like somewhere on these sides over here and making sure that maybe that helps us. Hey, we actually made a little bit of money. That's not that bad. And that will actually help us pay off these, these silly little elevators that we didn't put in here. All right, well, there we go. We have something going for us. However, that's not exactly what we really needed here, huh? Hmm. So... How are we to make more money, you guys? Well, what we can do is make another floor. <laughs> make another floor, you say? What? Yeah, no, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, and we're broke again. So I'm going to go ahead and actually grab another loan. I know. I know. Trust me. That's a really bad idea. I'm going to do it anyway just because we're going to need to build up no matter what. That way, we can actually start making more money. And, of course, we need more floors so we can actually get more retail stores. That's also something that we need to do, like, desperately. And we can afford the paintings now. Hmm. Uh-oh. No! 
Oh, curses! It's raining! It's raining when we don't exactly need it to be raining! Are you kidding me, game? Why? Why are you doing this to us right now? Well, I guess we're building right now, you guys, so let's go ahead and grab this guy right up over here, and let's see. That was the right one, right? Architectural Biennial. Whew, okay, I was like, ooh, I clicked something, I'm not so sure if it was the right one. It was the right one. So let's start building these guys in here. Let's see, we're gonna need these small ones on this side over here, and let's just put them in as soon as possible. So let's see. We have... A department store and a big box electronics store. So what else shall we get? We can probably get a toy store. Never mind. Fashion boutique. Ooh, we can. So you're gonna need electrical and phone. Fair enough. Okay, and we, it looks like we can even add one more right over here. One more, and we're gonna go ahead and put in a. We could go for a fancy grocery store or furniture store. I'm gonna go for the furniture store just because we don't have anything like that at all yet, and that. That just works. Okay. So what do we have? Let's see. Over here we have records. We have florists. We have a pharmacy. Sunglasses. Uh-huh. We have beer and wine. And lastly, a souvenir shop. Okay, so we're, we can get anything that's not those guys. So, I mean, a convenience store wouldn't be that bad, especially since we don't exactly have one further up here. There's, like, one down there. So, sure. Let's go for a convenience store. And we're going to go over here for, let's see... We have all those. We can go for another pet store, but I don't think the pet stores are doing that well already. So um, let's go and try to find something else. Portable electronics again? Maybe. I don't know. Ooh, 250. I will take that, although they need phones. So maybe those are not the best idea, but we're going to try it anyway. And let's go ahead and add in our wiring closets right up in here. Plumbing closets right up in here. Actually, we could probably do the rest of the... Can we do the rest of these? Yes, we can. Good, good. Okay, so, thank goodness. We can even put another store up in here. What am I even doing? Look at this, you guys. We can fit more stores in here. So, as I was saying, let's go ahead and put in a pet store over here. Yeah, this one right here. And that should be good. We're just waiting for that so we can turn that into another watch repair shop. Because apparently that's a popular thing. I don't even know. Whatever. If it's popular, it's popular. If not, then we, we might be in a little bit of a pickle. But I really hope not. So I'm going to go ahead and add the same kinds of stores up in here. So we're going to do that. And let's see. We're going to need this here. Here. And here. Well, we're going to need also our phone. I think these guys need phone. And... Oh boy. One of these guys needs phone. But I can't remember who. So I'm just going to go ahead and do all of this. Just because eventually we are going to move things around. So you know what? It's, it's fair enough. Let's just even do it like here as well. There we go. Huh? Okay. So now we're waiting on... Two more. Oh, gosh. They are actually building in the stores right now instead of actually fixing this up. Well, not really what I expected, but okay. Sure. Fair enough. And hopefully, even though, you know, we're having some issues, we're going to get... There we go. So we have enough visitors right now, but we won't exactly finish our campaign. So maybe we'll get this one done tomorrow. I'm definitely considering getting artwork. However, because we need to continue building, I'm not going to do it. As much as I want to do it, I'm not going to do it. So let's see. We're going to go ahead and drop this one in here. And those guys should be done in a second. There we go. All right. So what do we not have already? Besides these guys, because apparently we can't get them because we need customer support. Wait. We can afford customer support. What are we talking about? So let's see. Special services. Small customer support. How big are you? You're not that big. Let's see. Where can we stuff you? We can stuff you like somewhere here or here. Why does this... I guess it's the mall services floor. Actually, right there. There we go. Uh-huh. That wasn't that bad, was it? So, uh, let's see. Let's wait for these guys to actually be put in so we can get different stores. And the elevator is once again broken. Alright, so they need phone. Oh, why is the elevator always broken? This is exactly why we need more elevators. I think I'm about to do that, like, in a second. Just because it's starting to frustrate me that we don't have more elevators. So, let's see. That needs electricity as well. There's no electricity going to the office? What? How is that even operational? I'm not even going to ask anymore. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and put in these stores over here. So, sports goods. Oh, my gosh. Look at that money. Uh, we have everything they need, so that's good. And let's just put them in there. And the toy store up in here. 920. So, phone electrical. I believe we did that for both of those already. Let's see. Oh, we didn't do phone. My bad. We're going to go ahead and do it just like that. And, of course, we need one more store right over here. There we go. So, this can be... You know what? <laughs> Wine and spirits? Do we have that over here somewhere? Let's see. Pharmacy. Yes, we do. Oh, boy. So we kind of ran out of stores, didn't we? Well, we're, we can double up. It's not that bad of a thing, right? It's really not that bad of a thing. All right. I said watch and repair. You guys, sometimes, I know, I know, I'm forgetful sometimes. It's okay. We got this. We definitely got this. Also, now that we have some money here, can I just pay this thing off? 
just because I don't exactly want to deal with having money and, you know, having so many loans out at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and pay this one off. I know we're going to be totally broke right now, but we basically have everything that we need, so I guess it's okay. I know I said I want to do more elevators, but I want to have money first before we actually move on to that project because that's going to be very expensive. Can you imagine? 16 floors, 320 elevators, $320 worth of elevators in addition to other things. And did we just run out of electricity or did we not put any here? Okay, it's just that we didn't put any there. Thank goodness. I was a little bit worried. Right, but we're gonna have to like build in the extra sections, build in the elevators. I may even do elevators on both sides just because these break down so often that I'm worried that even these are gonna break down. And of course, we don't have enough people to, you know, be fixing these things. Anyway, we did just get $5,000. That's not bad. That is really not bad. I'm thinking for sure about building this. Let's see. Elevators are three wide, so they're three wide. Three, 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 three. We're gonna have to start for, um, oh, we're actually gonna have to use these, huh? I should build on here, right? Oh, boy. Wait, what? Add floor pieces that extend beyond the supporting floor below. Uh huh. From the side of the building, past the supporting floor, um, only, what? Oh, oh no. So this floor, I can't exactly place this there, but I can place it, like, up here. Hmm. That sucks. <laughs> So we're gonna have to have our elevator just like hanging out there. Hopefully this one never breaks because that's gonna be the main one quote-unquote I guess we can you know use it all the way up to here. This is that sucks. Yeah, that actually it does suck I was hoping we could do that, but apparently that's not gonna happen ever. So Hmm, we could always do some stairs. No, you know what stairs people don't like stairs So let's go ahead and try for one elevator here. Let's see how expensive is this? Huh? How expensive is that going to get? Yeah, pretty expensive, but I think it's necessary just to make people happy. That way they won't be complaining about everything. You know, you know how it is. Anyway, let's go ahead and do it up just like these, and these hopefully will help us. So we can afford this. Thank goodness. I think we're going to be able to afford the elevators on this side. I think we can afford even more than that, but I don't want to tempt the fates here. So, uh, we don't exactly have the upgraded elevator. We can Actually, we can start here, can't we? Uh, either on the ground floor or above. Oh, boy. So, we have the infrastructure in place, but apparently we don't have this just yet. So, how much are we going to need to get the upgraded? Uh, boy. That's a lot. That is definitely a lot. Well, at least we have the infrastructure in here. So, we know exactly where, where it's going to go, you know? Could have saved the money uh, and used that for something else, but whatever. It is what it is, and... Oh, boy. I can't believe that. I can't believe we can't even place an elevator there. That's... Definitely sucky. Why can't we place it like on the same floor? We could go for some stairs, though. If we expand to one more, we could definitely do stairs. But of course, who wants to climb 16 flights just to get to a store? Nobody. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave that be. Let's just decorate it for now. Just because it's there and it has to look nice, okay? It just has to look nice. And we're gonna have like this room here. Let's just decorate it all so we know exactly what it's for, because if we leave areas decorated, that means that they're open for something more. And of course, we don't want this being used. Otherwise, we're going to have to move things around. And that's really not where I want to go with this. So let's see. Something like that. And I guess we can decorate this. Oh, wait. We could have used this for elevators as well. But that's really too close to the other one. So I don't exactly like that. And if we put some here, that means that people might come through here to get to the other stores. Which is going to help out. Because, you know, they're actually going to be seeing some kind of action. So that'll help a little bit. At least in my opinion. So, today, we should be able to finish this here. And let's see. Aha! There we go. I was like, we should be able to finish it right now. There we go. All right, so last contract. My gosh, you guys. We need a population of 250. Yeah, 250. That's a lot, because we only have 130, so we're going to have to build up a lot more. How are we doing in terms of retail? We already got the retail. So right now, what we need to be focusing on are restaurants and building up. So we're kind of sort of almost two-thirds of the way in our building, so we should probably continue building upwards. A gourmet restaurant. Ooh, boy. And we also have luxury goods stores and an expand. Oh, my gosh. Um, Yeah, this one's going to be on definitely higher floors, especially since we're going to have an elevator there. That's probably where that elevator is going to go, because honestly, that's massive. That is actually massive. So instead of building up, though, we need to actually get this one done. Actually, do we need to get it done? Now I'm thinking about it. Do we actually need to get it done? Because we don't have any other contracts. Or will we get another contract if we complete that one? I'm not so sure, so I'm going to just ignore it. That's right. I'm going to ignore it. And we're going to continue building up for now. Because, again, if we continue building, we're going to get some more money. So let's just go ahead and do this up like this. And I should even probably just try to, you know, plan ahead for more elevators on this side pretty soon. But I'll definitely consider that. 
Yeah, at a later time. So let's see. We're let's just go all the way up as far up as we can. So let's see. Doop, broop, and let's get some elevators in here just because we want to be able to build these guys in as soon as is possible. Might be able to do one more floor. One more. Yes, we can. Good. So that's a lot of work for our poor, poor workers. But you know what? That's okay. And do we have things to be fixed? Oh my gosh, do we ever. Should have looked at that earlier. My bad. But we'll definitely do that tomorrow because it seems like, you know, we're still making a fair amount of money. So I'm not too troubled by this. This should be easy to do here. And let's see. How are we going on this? We ha almost have the prestige. So we we're about to get our <laughs> silver medal, you guys. Didn't think that would happen. Actually, no. I, th I think I thought it would happen. But this is exactly what I was talking about, you guys. Ah, that one elevator is always breaking down. What are we going to do about this one, though? Because we can't exactly, you know, build any more elevators on this side, any more on this side. It's kind of like we're stuck in a little bit of a pickle, huh? So let's see. Let's fix these guys up just to make sure that they're happy. Because, of course, they're not going to be happy and they're not going to pay as much money as we want them to if things are broken down. So there we go. And how are we going on? Influence. <sighs> it's not good. It's just not looking good at all, you guys. But now we know, instead of working towards these guys, even though I would love to work towards these guys, we have to work on these instead. Which is good, because, you know, we need better maintenance, we need better service. Oh my gosh. This is a nightmare. This is actually a nightmare. Maybe I shouldn't have focused on the plazas, but we need to complete those contracts no matter what. My gosh. So, how the heck can we get more of this? Uh, from your apartment residence and select office. Maybe we need to build up more places so that they can be a little bit happier and be like, Hey, you know what? We are actually reputable places and now your mall is kind of reputable too, right? Well, I don't know. But hopefully, hopefully soon we'll have more than enough money. Or, or, you know why it's always so tempting, you guys? It's always so, so tempting to do this. Just because... You know, we can always have the money right up front. We can pay it off eventually. It seems like we're doing pretty well with paying things off. So, let's go ahead and do it up just like this. So, we're going to go to... Can we go all the way? Can we go all the way to 30? Hmm. Obviously, we can go higher, but I don't want to go higher. So, let's see. How far up can we make it with what money we do have? Did we get a new restaurant type? Because it looks like we might have done that. All right, so we're at 30. Uh-huh. And we can afford maybe more things. So thank goodness. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and put in our first elevators here because apparently we can't get any more, which is okay with me. And what do we have here? We have, ah, a large rooftop restaurant. And this one definitely fits in this section right here. So that might be nice. That might really be nice. So what money we get next? I think I'm going to try to save it for moving things around, especially since, like I said before, I want most of these floors to be, most of the upper floors to be retail. So let's see. We're going to need an observation deck. Number one, probably one of the first things that we're going to have to build. We have the height. We just need a lot more population. So we no doubt need to build a lot more stores, which we're getting there. And hopefully filling these floors up is going to get us there as well. But for now, let's just focus on building this, these guys up. That way we can start placing more stores and hopefully be okay. And also, and oh my gosh, these things are always broken. Why, game? Why? And hopefully you can all be, be all set in terms of influence, because very clearly, we need to get those upgraded elevators. Oh boy, the city's economy is really heating up. City vacancy rates are very low and tenants are willing to pay higher rents. You know what that means. We're bumping everybody up to 125%. Even the people who are like at 75%. Yeah, we're definitely getting more money. Ooh, hold on, they're not happy. These guys were probably not happy either. I guess we could really only... Actually, no, we're going to do it anyway. And if they're mad, they can just tell us it's mad and we'll definitely fix it up. But, you know, we can charge more right now <laughs> just because it said so. So we're going to do that anyway. So let's see, just bump all these guys. Up. Oh, 75%? I don't think so. You are actually very, very happy, so I am not okay with that at all. I, I know, we're, we're evil empire right here, but you know what? It's okay. So let's see, we're going to go ahead and butt everybody up to 125. Oh, you guys were already at 125. My bad. And you were okay with that? They were actually okay with that? Interesting. Sure, I will accept that. So let's see. You you guys are not a shop, so that's okay with me. So we already bumped you guys up. Did we bump you guys up? No, we did not. We can even probably go higher than that, huh? Because these guys are still pretty happy. Sure. Oh, you guys aren't happy, though. So hopefully anybody who's actually still happy with the uh, raise in prices is going to be okay with an even higher raise in prices, huh? So 
So let's see, you guys are still pretty happy. Let's bump you up and these guys as well. Oh boy, are we gonna bring in the money, you guys? This is gonna be good. Oh, these guys are super happy because they are 75%. I don't think so. You know what? You guys were complaining for. <laughs> I can't believe them. Did it look like somebody just fell down? It looked like somebody just fell right through the building. Maybe they actually went to the elevator and it didn't, didn't look like that. They're still happy despite the 125. Are they crazy? They must be crazy. Alright, 125, and these guys look like they need help, so I'm gonna definitely try to help them in a second, and oh boy. You know what, you guys? We're gonna bring in so much money. Can I just, uh, pause this for a second? The game wouldn't let me pause. That was actually bad. Ah, it's because we renamed this, <laughs> the swimwear outlets to... Let's just rename it to triple S just to make it super fancy. Sure. There we go. Alright, so what I want to do is I wanted to go over to these guys. Excuse me? There we go, and renovate, because I did see some people who weren't looking in good shape at all, and I want to make sure that their stores are looking kind of okay. And is anybody mad at us? Because, you know, I want to take care of that before it gets worse. So let's see, you guys are okay, you're kind of okay, you're still happy even though, you know, you have high prices there. But apparently you're getting a ton of business, so that is okay with me. And everybody now should be good, except for maybe some of the rest. 200% you're still happy! These restaurants are seeing way too many people. But you know, I'm okay with that. Oh, this poor pet store is just not seeing anybody at all. Oh boy, we just had somebody leave. That must have been the wine? Nope, that was probably the pharmacy. It was the pharmacy. No wonder! They were probably not- but they didn't even tell us that they were mad. <laughs> they were just like, I, I guess I'm okay right now. No, you really were not okay at all. So we're gonna have to get another pharmacy. Oh boy. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Well, it's okay. I'm not gonna raise this guy just because he's already unhappy, and these guys are a little bit too happy. There we go. You guys are definitely really happy. All the way to 200 for you, since you are a restaurant. Same thing with you guys, since you're always... Oh, you didn't turn a profit. Never mind. We're gonna go to 150, then. And that should be good for almost everybody. Actually, these are way too happy, and... Yeah, that's good. Okay. So hopefully that's gonna be good enough. We are still making plenty of money. I know we lost somebody, but you know what? That's okay. We can definitely fix that up. Yeah, I know, I know. They left a- why, why do I want to see it? I already saw a game, I already saw it. We can afford some artwork. Don't know if I want to do that. They're still working on that, that's okay with me. We're gonna go ahead and get another pharmacy in here as soon as it's possible, just because- Wait. Hmm. What floor is this? Because if it's under floor 10, yeah, no, I'm gonna leave that area there for a restaurant, just because- so let's see, what kind of restaurant can we get in here? We can do this. Can definitely do this. That works for me. So sure, we're gonna do a medium restaurant in like these sides as soon as we remove some of these guys. So that's definitely the way it's gonna be here. Don't know how many large restaurants we could fit in here. Um, it's probably just gonna be one and then maybe another medium restaurant. So where are we gonna have the smaller restaurants? Maybe further down here, I guess. But since this is floor ten, you know it's gonna be just the major floor. Like it's gonna be one of the major floors. So we're gonna have the bigger restaurants there. So for sure, we're gonna leave that be just so we know exactly what's gonna be there. So let's see. How are we going to plan this out? Because, of course, we're going to need to have certain floors that have just, you know, smaller retail stores. And eventually, we're going to put bigger stores in, like, certain areas just to make sure that we have enough stores. So, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We can keep... I don't want these here. I want these higher up. But at the same time, I also have to allocate different areas for the bigger stores as well. Like, clearly, these, we don't really want to have elevators there. So we're gonna have to get rid of those elevators, but of course we can't do that just yet because we need to build this up, so... It is what it is. And oh, also, don't we have to get an observation deck? So we have to get in these elevators as well. My gosh, there is so much to do. So let's see, what can we do about the observation deck? We can put this in. Just a way for these guys to actually finish building this up. It looks like the observation deck might have to go on this side just so we can get a rooftop restaurant over here, because that's gonna be nice. So we can leave this area over there for the elevator. Yeah, you know what? That actually works really, really well. That is more than enough space for the elevator. And are people actually coming up here? Is is it just me or people what? They're following the observation deck. Ah, oh, that's definitely a bug. <laughs> we didn't place it, but there are still people coming up here to look through the observation deck. Interesting. Interesting. Right, so let's see. Observation deck. We're gonna go ahead and drop this guy right up in here, just because, oh boy, we are definitely needing some utilities. So let's see what we can do about utilities after placing large rooftop restaurant. Aha, we can put them right over there. Not ideal, but this is okay, just because, you know, we're actually gonna use that area for something. So, let's see. Wiring closet over here. And, uh, how are we gonna do it for these? I guess we're gonna have to do it like this. For this area here, because... On this side, we know we're gonna have bigger stores and not anything like the uh, large restaurants. And if not, you know what? We can move them around. It's not a big deal. But for now, 
That's not really what I wanted. <laughs> oh boy, gotta love it when you mess up and you actually have to pay for it. There we go. Okay, and we are going to go for a plumbing closet right over here. And all along the way over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there we go. And now, we're, so these guys are going to need electricity. These guys are going to need electricity, maybe water, maybe gas. Do we even have things for these guys? We probably don't. Honestly speaking, so this is gonna be very interesting. Let's just drop that over there and let's see electricity Over here drop this over here and bring this one all the way across the way here So what else is needed here? You guys are very unhappy. What else do you need? Nothing else. Okay, sure sure Okay, so before we add this restaurant, let's see. What is it that they need? Huh. So they need a bin And recycling on this floor, so we might have to make this floor a little bit wider or we are gonna get rid of the elevator here so we can just put it there. Hmm. We're not gonna put the restaurant in then just yet because very clearly we don't exactly have the things that we need for it. But now we have the observation deck so that's all that matters. At least we have the, this in place so we know. We know what's going there. I know we're like future proofing everything but you know it's okay. And there we go. We are having people visit the observation deck. They are not very happy at all though. These guys need to get a little bit happier though because like seriously we're paying you to be here. We're actually paying you to exist, okay? Alright, there we go. And I don't know what's wrong with these people. They are just not happy. There are no bars around. What? What? Do we really don't have any bars? Oh boy. That's not so good. So yeah, we're gonna have to move things around pretty soon. These guys are very, very unhappy with us. Let's go ahead and lower them to 75. Just so they can stay with us, because I don't exactly want anybody leaving just yet. It's not a really a good idea to actually get people super mad. And we're still making money. Okay, good. So... Now might be a good time to actually plan the rest of these things. So let me go ahead and lay everything out so I can know exactly where I'm going to start moving stores to. Because if we start doing everything willy-nilly, we might have to just move things around even more. And that will cost a lot more money than what we have. And that's not what we want. Okay, so after sizing everything up, I've kind of sort of figured it out. For the retail stores, for the, I should say, the expansive retail stores, we're going to save these areas over here. Of course, we're going to move these guys eventually, but I'm just, you know, trying to save some space here. So we're going to put these guys down here. And of course, we're going to have like a nice little lobby area over here with elevators over here and probably elevators over here as well. We could center this a little bit more if we wanted to, but I think it's going to be okay just like this. Maybe. We'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. But of course, we are going to have elevators on either side, so that's going to help us actually get up here. There are only two types of these stores. I can't remember exactly what they are, but there's definitely just two types, so this is okay. As for all the luxury stores, we can fit them on these floors down here. I'm actually going to go ahead and just move, let's see, these four. And I'm going to move them down here because that's, they definitely fit there. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are only seven types of luxury stores, so that works the way it is just like that. And I mean... They're never going to be next to trash, so that should be okay. We could probably just decorate this with a little bit of art so they can be happy there. And of course, there's going to be another elevator there, which means they're going to be in a high traffic area. Hopefully, that's also okay with them. I'm not so sure if it is. But you know what? We can just take a look at that and see if that's going to be okay. So, likes being near art, likes high traffic areas. So, this is going to be good for them. This is definitely going to be good for them. Now, there are only seven types, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven types of big stores, of the two floor stores. So, we're going to go ahead and actually move the ones that we have starting over here. So,. Let's go ahead and just clear out these two over here. And let's see, I want to move maybe the uh, apparel ones over here. Toy store, you are a fashion boutique. We have more than clothing and jewelry. Okay, you're a department store. I guess you can go wherever, it doesn't matter to me. But these guys, we actually need to use influence for this. This, this sucks. Wait, we don't have a mover's office? We don't have a mover's office. Eesh, all right, let's see. Mover's office. So we're gonna have to use influence, which again is really not what we want, especially since we're working towards these elevators. Hopefully adding more shores is gonna help us get more influence because clearly we need that right now. So let's see. Mover's office. Where the heck? Supply room. Where? Building staff, maybe? Aha. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get you, let's see, right down here. Seriously thought we had one for some reason. I don't know why. But there we go. All right, so this is probably why it's a good idea that we didn't build everything that we wanted because these are going to be so expensive to move. Are these going to be expensive to move or can we just, like, kick them out? Hmm. Wait, can we kick them out? We can. <laughs> I just, I think it's going to impact our prestige, so you know what? We're not going to do that at all. I think I would rather take a hit to influence rather than prestige because eventually we can rebuild the influence. Prestige is going to take a lot longer to rebuild. So let's see, what can we do now? We can, of course, build the stores that we have yet to build first. 
just to make sure that we're kind of okay with what we need to do. So let's see, we have a sporting goods store, a toy store. We have three, four, we have six of them, don't we? Oh boy, mistakes were made, you guys, mistakes were made. Home furnishings, fashion boutique, TVs, a big box electronic store, and a department store. So among these, we are missing fancy grocery store. Wait, what? <laughs> Only a fancy grocery store? I said seven, right? One, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it was seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. God dang it. One, two, three. Can I math or no? Three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, yeah, seven. So uh, we're only missing the fancy grocery store, which is never good. Apparently they don't produce stinky areas, so I guess it's okay to place them wherever. I kind of want to place them right over here. Oh, actually, no. They might bring in a lot more people, so sure. We're going to place them over here in the corner. Dotsio's grocery gourmet store, so excuse me. Sure, sure. Let's go ahead and do that. They're gonna need some electricity and some phones. So that's gonna be okay. Let's go ahead and do something like this. And something like uh, this. Alright, there we go. And I guess the rest of these slots over here are to move other areas to, or other stores I should say, to. And these are actually gonna be the regular medium stores. I'm not so sure, sure what we're gonna put here, because I'm pretty sure we have like almost all the medium stores, so... We're gonna have to definitely either get rid of some, which again, I don't want to do. Actually, it's uh, not as expensive to move these, and we definitely have a lot more influence today. Really would like to get more maintenance, though, just because we have a lot of things breaking down all the time. So, you know what? We're gonna work with what we have for now, which means we can actually get some luxury goods stores. This isn't gonna be a problem at all, because we have everything in place to get these guys in here. So... Jeez, this is, gonna be, this is gonna be really expensive. Actually, we don't have everything that we need in place. Apparently, we need another storeroom. So, let's go ahead and get that done because apparently we used all the spaces here, didn't we? Oh yeah, we did. I would like to build two, but of course this guy's in the way, so I'm gonna leave that guy in the way until we, you know, want to move him. Let's see. You don't cost anything to move. Fair enough. I'm gonna move you right now then. Let's move you right over there and that should be okay. Let's see. So we're gonna need storage. We're gonna need this one here. Mm-hmm. We need another one there, but of course, we can't really put that in just yet. Oh, how expensive is this? Oh, that's okay. That's definitely affordable, and especially since we're making quite a bit of money, I am not at all having an issue with this. I was thinking that maybe, just maybe, we could run some type of media campaign just to get ourselves some cheaper stores or something. And the elevator is broken again. Why does this not surprise me? <laughs> this really does not surprise me anymore. Alright, and there we go. Alright, so we have enough room for 30 more. Which is definitely going to help, especially since we're going to have to get a lot more stores and definitely a lot more restaurants, for sure, for sure. So hopefully there's going to be enough room for everybody, which means that we have all this in place for basically the rest of this mall. So this is good, you guys. It's definitely good. And these guys don't have a phone connection. My bad. Let's go ahead and get you some phone connection up in here. Could probably just... Why is that con not connected? What? <laughs> That was weird. That was actually super weird. That wasn't connected. I'm not so sure what happened there, but okay. And did anybody leave? I don't think they did, but it seriously sounded like they did. Whatever. All right, so now we should be able to get more of these guys in. There we go. All right, so we have a fancy grocery store in here. We don't want anything that deals with foods, like maybe a fine wine merchant. Not in this floor. We're going to put the fine wine merchant further up here just because eh, it works. So let's see, you want, you want art, you like, okay, so no smelly areas. We're not going to have restaurants around here. We're going to have the restaurants further up here, so this is definitely okay for us. So we're going to go ahead and put, let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, bo. You both cost the same thing and pay us both the same thing. Fair enough. So block wine importers, you're welcome to our wonderful, wonderful mall. And candle and soap stores, I really hope they don't sink. Let's go for freedom and candle and soap, soap shop, sure. Next up is going to be the rare antique. This sounds like a really bad mix, but whatever. We're going to go ahead and get southern manuscripts. And we just remember that all of these need phone and electricity because I tend to forget the phone. Sometimes we're going to need to build another phone thing, too, as well. Find our store. Sure. Let's go for Carnation and Lion Gallery. Mm -hmm. They're going to pay us a lot more. And I probably shouldn't be putting all these guys in at the same time because it's going to overload something. I have a feeling it's going to overload something, but you know what? I'm going to do it anyway. So let's see, over here we're going to go Gala and Evan Fine Gems, Shore and Cosmetics Boutique. We're going to go for, it doesn't matter which one, uh, Maquillaje Floreal. Yeah, let's go for Maquillaje Floreal. And lastly, China Shop that we apparently cannot get because we don't have enough money. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, at least we know exactly what is going on in here. So let's go ahead and get ourselves our connections just before we run out of money. Because, of course, we need to make sure that they're all connected so they won't be angry at us and then suddenly leave and... 
we have more problems on our hands than we want to deal with. So let's see, something like that. And of course, the phone. I think we have a pretty big phone switchboard. I'm not exactly sure if that was the case, but if it is, thank goodness. If not, then yeesh. I'm gonna get these in just because I want to make sure that we are ready for whatever comes. So let's see, we're gonna get those guys done, and how are we looking in terms of our... Are these guys? Yeah, you, we have 25 there. We're good. We're totally good, you guys. So these guys are gonna go in pretty nicely without a problem, which means we should be making more money. We should have more people here. This is good, especially since more money means that very soon we can place our artworks and actually get this guy done. But we'll see just how much we make in the next episode, because that is it for this episode of Project High Rise Miami Malls. If you enjoyed, hit that like button to show your support, and do subscribe if you already haven't. But as always, thank you so much for watching, and have an awesome night.